Okay, um, here we do not get the expected result. Um, sales were the least here. Um, why we do not get the actually our result as expected? Um, I think the reason is the uh, the final step. The final step is to call is to copy the everything from the sender object here. So that means um, we need to modify the final step a little bit. And coming back here, um, in the final step there. In the final step, uh, we need to modify it a little bit um, to copy the result from the RFC A uh, call result here, not from the sender uh, object here. So um, we need to modify the XMO style sheet uh, for the final one. Uh, for the final one, that's the one. Uh, the BIU uh, vote test the XMO style sheet. So as you can see, and by default, it's copied from the vote from the sender object vote or send object here so we would like to um, copy the result from the RFC uh, call result so the object ID here um, how can we know the object ID for the RFC call um, actually uh, for the RFC call here um, is the system ID um, represent uh, as the object type ID here so we just copy the object ID uh, from the RFC call here to replace this one, void object, uh, void object. Even uh, if you have more RFC code to the same object, um, to the same um, system ID there, uh, we can have one more. Um, in there, we can have. Okay, let's make it simple. Or even you can have more uh, one um, additional um, condition. It is about the. It's about the. Um, about the object row, object row C8, um, stand for the, um, stand for the, um, okay, let's make one, case okay, sensitive, and, and we copy it, add, and object row, you say it, object row equal to, Object row equal to CA. CA means the additional code result. I'm um, here. So the same thing. We copied this part to here to replace the one here. Okay. Now we copied everything from the code result. So we now suppose we should get the um, expect the result, the sales order list from the SAP ERP. So let's trigger the uh, call once again. Uh, coming back, processing, and test. And then we trigger by many once again. Mid start. Then this processing, due processing, and wait for a while. Okay, um, this the one we got it. Let's have a look at the whole message here. Is the sender okay? This the expected result we get it from the BAPI and the BAPI sales order get list, and then we get the sales order one by one the item, the material, an item number, the quantity, and the date as well. One, two, three. Okay, that's the um, and then you would output this um, is in the um, XMO file there. So, um, uh, we don't need to have a look at XML there. Uh, that's the result that we, we get in, um, in the receiver there. So, um, in summary, um, today we have learned in this session, we have learned two uh, very key topics. The first one is how can we create an um, integration scenario um, and in allowed, enable the trigger by the, uh, by the, by the timer, by the schedule one, or uh, by menu, um, click the button to trigger the um, start immediately.
just um, um, keeping my talc we uh, modified it and by the way uh, you in order to use this functionality you need to have in the latest um, B1ISM 8.8 patch 7 um, installed uh, because this is a new feature in this version and by the way the RFC code we also learned a very important um, feature um, this feature is available a long time long time ago it's not the new feature and um, we can make the additional code to RFC to the JDBC and even to the B1 DI as well. So we have learned uh, specifically we have, we have learned how to uh, make an RFC code to get the B sales order list from the SAP ERP. And then you just need to uh, note your BAP um, uh, function module and then what's the uh, inbound parameter or something like that. And then as a result, we can output um, to the file system or directly to the um, B1 um, system as the sales order as well. Okay, and that's it for the today's session. Uh, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.